Determining average atomic mass. So we're going to determine the average atomic mass of magnesium given the data we have shown below. And that data is just some isotopes and their abundancies for magnesium. So we have three isotopes for magnesium. I've shown their mass and their abundancies here. And we're going to go through the steps to find this. So first, it's good to know that for the average atomic mass, I'm just going to abbreviate that AAM so I don't have to write it a bajillion times. Each isotope contributes proportionally to their abundancy. But I mean that they contribute mass proportional to their abundancy. So let's write in mass here. Okay. So because of that, we can kind of write a general equation to do this. And that is the average atomic mass is equal to the summation of the mass of the isotope times its abundancy in a decimal form. Okay, and you just do um, the mass of the isotope times its abundancy for each of the isotopes and just add them all together is what that summation means. So now let's do that for our example here. So we know our average atomic mass of magnesium is going to be equal to the mass of um, its isotope. So we're going to say this is for Mg24. That mass is 23.99 times its abundancy, which is going to be written as 0 0.7890 since we're writing it in decimal form plus we're going to do mg25 so that's 24.99 times its abundancy of 0 0.1000 and now mg26 That is 25.98 times 0 0.1110. So now we just need to do our math. So when we do that, we're going to get this to come out to 18.92811 plus 2.499 plus 2.88378. We have a lot of decimals here, but we'll just round it when we get to our final answer. When we add all those up, we get our average atomic mass, which is going to be 24.31. So when we look at that, it makes sense as well, because the majority of our isotope, um, the majority of the magnesium we have, is magnesium 24 with a mass of 23.99. However, we do have about 20% of our mass um, or types of magnesium that is greater than that. So it's a little bit higher than the kind of average one or the one there's the most of, but it's not too high. So this is a very um, rational answer to get. So that would be your average atomic mass.